Okay, let's put this in the category of not all episodes of mob violence in South Philadelphia involve black people. Let's put this in the Islamic people do it too category. And even though that's a little bit outside of our bailiwick, what I thought was interesting about this is the people, the public officials and the cops who are ignoring, denying, condoning, excusing, and even encouraging it by not showing us the full video, which they have, of this violent encounter. This is the second time in two days that's happened. Just yesterday, Loretta Lynch went on all these Sunday talk shows to say, when we released the transcript of the ISIS functionary who shot up the nightclub in Orlando, when we release it, we're going to edit, edit out a bunch of words like Allah, ISIS, and the like. That's a little weird. So let's set the stage. In this part of the world, Geno's is kind of a landmark in Philadelphia. I mean, like in New York, you're for the Yankees or the Mets. You're for the Giants or the Jets. In this part of the world, you are for Geno's or for Pat's when you talk about steak sandwiches. So anyway, uh, let's pick up the story. Bunch of, uh, bunch of harmless white kids, a.k.a day school teachers they were finishing up their cheesesteak cheesesteak when one of the guy's girlfriends asked another group of patrons if she could bum a cigarette this is when patrick kane comes in that is when the guys lost their minds in seconds one man stood up put his hands over the face of the woman and pushed her across the sidewalk they said don't mess with us we belong to isis the other guy stepped in to help his friend then suddenly realized the ISIS statement was not a joke. What went from putting hands on two girls became five guys attacking us, said one of the guys. Patrick Kane said one man had punched him in the nose, which started bleeding. He was punched in the back of the head by another man, hit twice in the eye. He remembers Brooks screaming at bystanders for help to call police. The five men ran off and uh, the EMTs arrived. Patrick Kane declined further medical treatment. The couple spent were in the police station until the early morning hours giving their statements. It is ridiculous that this even happened. I don't know why things have to escalate like this. Let, let me just say, put this in perspective. That is not something that you used to hear in South Philadelphia back in the day. But now it's a place, if you want to go get a grab a late night steak sand, cheese steak at Gino's or at Pat's, you have to think about whether you want with or without onions, mushrooms. Then you have to think one other thing. Don't make the black or Arab kids angry. <laughs> 